Hi guys, my name's Tori. For those of you who don't know me, this is my Wizard of Oz collection vlog. Roll the hopefully shortened intro. Someone suggested in the comments uh, of the last video that I shorten the intro because it was too long. So good suggestion. Thank you. On to the vlog. Let's talk. The world is on fire. We are coming out of a global pandemic. Certainly, we're not through the woods, but here in Connecticut, our cases are down. We're in phase one opening. Things are looking hopeful. And then these protests happen. Very necessary protests, in my opinion. Injustice needs to be addressed. And like many of you, I turn to Oz in moments of personal stress and anxiety, and it always makes me feel a little bit better and a little more hopeful. The Oz books contain so much wisdom about the world and about each other. If you haven't read the original series of 14 novels that L. Frank Baum wrote, please do yourself the favor in this time and read them. They are chock full of wisdom and peaceful coexistence and they're extremely helpful in moments like this. So please do yourself a favor and read them. But onward. So the first thing I wanted to share with you guys tonight pertains to Return to Oz, the 1985 Disney sequel to technically kind of the MGM film, but mostly to Baum's original novel. And this was not considered a commercially successful film. However, it has become a cult classic among Oz fans for sure. And there were a few things that they used to merchandise Return to Oz the film. One of them was Smucker's Peanut Butter. They released hand puppets and I've completed the hand puppet collection. So the last one that I was missing was the Scarecrow. And if you're wondering how I'm displaying these, it's actually stupid simple. Rather than getting expensive display stands, I took two red Solo cups, cut them to fit, and just stuck them on in there, and it actually works. It's really effective. Holds their shape and helps to display them really beautifully. They're a pretty striking set altogether. I don't have a ton of Return to Oz merchandise. It's hard to come by the stuff that was used in 1985 to merchandise the film, and it's all very expensive. So this is what we got so far. It's not much, but I enjoy it. The next thing I wanted to talk about is the Franklin Mint. You guys know I've made no secret. I loved the Franklin Mint magazine when I was a kid, and I still love the merchandise that they put out for The Wizard of Oz. And I've been trying to round out my Wizard of Oz Franklin Mint collection. As you can see behind me, I have the large heirloom dolls, and I've been growing my collection of Franklin Mint stuff, and I would love to share what I have added since our last video. The first thing we added recently was this gorgeous Franklin Mint teapot. And I actually don't remember seeing this in the magazine, but when I saw it on eBay, I fell in love. The detail here is gorgeous. Just look at that and the way that everything intertwines here, the way that the yellow brick road winds, the way it tops itself with the Emerald City. And it goes, which is typical of the Franklin Mint, the detail goes all the way around. You've got the Emerald City, the apple trees, follow the yellow brick road, limited edition, Franklin Mint, and it's copyrighted 1998. The next thing we added was pay no attention to the man behind the curtain, which displays the moment where Dorothy brings the broomstick back to the wizard with her friends and Toto reveals that the wizard is not who he originally said that he was. And the movement in this, which is typical of the Franklin Mint, again, just displaying such detail and such movement, spectacular. 
And what's really neat about this one is that the wizard's head detaches and it's its own individual little snow globe. But you wouldn't know that because it fits so seamlessly into the rest of it. Definitely one of the things that I wanted very badly when I was a kid. Also added this series of Franklin Mint plates with the display stand. And it basically just looks like a film reel and it focuses on the Wicked Witch of the West. And you know, I don't have enough Margaret Hamilton merch in my life, so love this one. Okay guys, let's talk Lennox. I love the Lennox figurines. However, they are priced at a point where I don't know, maybe it's because they're so fragile and that's why they go for such high prices. I don't really understand the pricing on these. However, I was able to find a few recently at very good prices and I want to share what I found. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times, eBay is a collector's best friend. These guys are super beautiful. They display really nicely. I, I gotta say, I'm late in the game coming to liking these figures. Would I spend the thousands that I know some people have on these? No. Uh, but the one, if I can find them at reasonable prices, sure. Now, they're they're beautiful. They look great on the shelf. They're striking. They're classy. They're elegant. Again, for me, not worth hundreds or thousands of dollars for these. If I'm going to spend that kind of money, I want 1939 merch. But I like them. They're pretty. If you guys are not on Wizard of Oz Collectors United, you might not have seen that Walter Kruger has been doing these mystery box auctions of Wizard of Oz merch. You're bidding blindly and the stuff he sends you is pretty incredible. I've never bid on one, but I've seen people bidding on them and they've shared what they've won in these mystery boxes and they've been super cool. So this next thing was something that I found out about through Walter Kruger's auction on Wizard of Oz Collectors United. I'd never seen this before and I thought it was super cute. So I went out and found it. And what it is, is this pencil set. And it uses promotional imagery from the 1939 release. So it opens up like this and inside you've got pencils, little crayons, and some stickers. Really cute. But the box is beautiful and it displays so nicely and it looks so vintage and cool. So good job, Walter. Thank you for sharing that with the world. I love it. Also got some more of the Sinar comics and these are super cute. I hadn't seen these smaller ones before, but they're super adorable and they're basically just comic book versions of the anime. So we have a few of them at this point up here in the bedroom. If we could for a second, let's talk the 1967 Chuck Jones cartoon, Off to See the Wizard. These were bumper cartoons that were used to open and close movies on TV. The wizard would say, and our next movie is, and the friends would say something cute. And as a result, there was tons of merchandising. These are really fun, really stylistic, very 60s, very funky, colorful. So one of the things I was able to find was this plastic hand puppet. It's still sealed. I don't know if they made these for all of them. I hadn't seen them before. I'm sure there's one for each. And it's just basically a plastic bag with the Tin Man on it. Hopefully I'll be able to find the rest at some point. And of course we have the Jack in the Box, the Talking Glove. But this time around, I found something I've been looking for for a very long time, and that is the Talking Scarecrow Pillow. It's really cute. Once again, very stylistic, very 1960s, super colorful. He's so cuddly and yes, his voice box still works. Let's try him out. He's really cute. His voice box is super clear. I think he's just amazing. And yeah, like I said, I love the look of these. They're so pretty. They're so colorful. He's a joy. Love him. Now, 
we have another bookcase coming tomorrow so i'm going to be building that and hopefully the off to see the wizard stuff because as you can see it's kind of outgrown its space over here will be moved there where it will have a little more room or we'll reconfigure some of the things here and put them in a more dominant spot because i really do love these but anyway, that's all for this evening. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please like this video with an upward thumb. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from us. Also, head over to the Oz Vlog on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram. We're everywhere. And please don't forget to join us every other week on the International Wizard of Oz Club Facebook page where we do live watch-alongs with Oz fans just like you. And if you're not already a member of the Oz Club, head over to ozclub.org and look into signing up. It's super easy, super fun, super amazing. I hope you guys are doing well. This has been such a crazy time, real talk. Just can't believe where we are right now, but continuing to have faith in humanity, in each other is just going to be super important going forward so please guys hang in there stay safe stay well be smart do what you got to do to get through this right scarecrow love you anyway thank you guys so much for watching have a great night and i'll see you in the next one bye